What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So more parts for the turbo build just came in, so let me show you guys. So first up over here, we have this you call you call this the silicon boot, like a coupler silicon boot. So this goes in the engine bay. Um a few videos back you guys might have heard me mention about this Y silicon boot, so this is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact term or came with the clamps as well that's awesome uh, so this goes this connects the intake box to the blow valve pipe i believe um, so blow valve to the intake so i needed this so i ordered that over here we also have spark plugs so i got some iridium ngk spark plugs let me show you guys so i know guys run different spark plugs depending on the year make and model but uh, i asked a couple guys for my car which is a 2015 mitsubishi lancer gt that's going turbo uh, NGK is a great brand um, and then here is the part number so if you guys have a similar vehicle it's the BKR7EIX266 uh, spark plugs so yeah you do have to change out your spark plugs since the OEM ones aren't good um, again mine is the 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT which is the 4B12 engine uh, I'm not sure if all 4B12s use the same one so make sure to double check with your tuner but yeah spark plugs and this coupling um long is closed today but uh, he has a drop box so i'm just gonna drop these off over at the shop i also have a few other stuff um so i still want to install this this is my fast knob basically my push to start i'm gonna get that installed whenever i go to the shop carbing strut bar i still have it here at home but I'm uh, gonna wait till one of the last things to put on. I also got some nice titanium bolts that should be coming in for the strut bar tower pretty soon. Um, but yeah, all these are dress up bolts. Those can wait. These are the more important stuff. Uh, as like I said, you know, sometimes when you install stuff, there's more stuff you have to order. So I'm just gonna drop these off again with my busy work schedule. I won't be able to go to the shop as often, but since I'm able to drop these off, hopefully that's all I need. Um, but long said, once we connect this piece, we'll know if I have to buy another piece to connect the intake. Otherwise, if we don't, that's great. All right, so more goodies came in. So over here, we have some titanium strut bar bolts from JD Customs. So basically, these go on the strut bar. So I have a carbine strut bar I got recently. They'll be going one, two, three, and then three on the bottom. Um, so pretty much, yeah, they're gonna replace the normal bolts on my strut bar. We also got something else here from Mishimoto. This is pretty cool. Looks kind of like a Rubik's cube, but um, one of the Turbo Lancers that goes by, uh, well, his name is Anthony from New York. He's a Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer as well. Told me recommended to get um, temperature. So. Basically, I want to keep cool because, you know, when you run some boost, you come and run a little hot. So, I went ahead and picked this up from Mishimoto. This is a uh, temperature sensor, I believe. Fits the Evo as well as the Lancer. So, yeah. I'm going to drop this off at Long Shop. Hopefully, we'll get some progress done since I haven't been to the shop all week. A few moments later. So, today, I'll be heading back to Long Shop, Long's Automotive, to check out my Turbo Lancer build. Um, my work schedule has kind of scheduled me more days lately so I haven't really been able to go to the shop as often as I wanted to um, but you know he's also been pretty busy with it being summertime and more customers walking in for appointments and stuff uh, but yeah the last video for the turbo build we just dropped in the turbo so before that we had a lot of other stuff that we attached like the intake manifold the throttle body the cams installed new radiator stuff like that turbo's finally in um, I also got some more extra parts for the travel build, so I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, but yeah, you guys might have saw over the course of probably the past week or two, I did accumulate some extra parts like the Mishimoto Racing Thermostat. Um, one of the Turbo Lancer owners, Tony, he uh, recently told me that, you know, it's good to have a racing thermostat since it runs a little hotter. So that's what he did with his Turbo Lancer build. So I got that and then I have some small little dress up parts like titanium strut bar bolts that's not needed for the turbo build but I got it. Um, we also have the uh, TGS uh, fast knock kind of like the push to start thing switch it out 
Um, so uh, again, another dress up part that is not needed for a turbo build, but small little stuff. I'll uh, show you guys the parts and we're on the way there, so we should be there pretty soon. So just made it over here to Long Shop. Let me show you guys what I have here. So again, this is the Mishimoto thermostat, TGS fast knob, and titanium strut bar bolts from JD Customs. And got this from Jonathan Bay's. He uh, custom made some turbo oil lines. So the previous one didn't quite fit up. So hopefully this one fits good. I also have a bunch of other stuff. Let me show you guys in the trunk. Uh, my OEM Mitsubishi Lancer stuff. We have a fellow subscriber who is actually heading down 3-4 hours from Laredo, Texas. To get some of the stuff from me. So some OEM stuff. He is buying the engine core intake over here added this hydro shield um, the intake manifold the throttle body as well as the radiator uh, i have a bunch of other stuff i'm not sure if he wants to buy it with the megan racing strut bar some brake pads front and rear as well as this uh little hydro dip piece on the valve cover so yeah he'll be here in a couple hours so we'll see him and hopefully you'll be able to sell some stuff we also have his buddy's really clean subaru rs over here so again, not often that you see a Subaru RS. So this clean Jeep. Let's check out this Subaru RS. Full STI swapped STI engine, STI interior. Super clean. Every time I see this GC8, I'm like, man, so good looking. Go back over here at Long Chomp, Long's Automotive. A little bit of changes. Like I said, haven't been here for a minute. My T37 wheel is back on. Um, I also bought these NGK spark plugs the last time I was here. So if you guys are wondering what spark plugs, this is a spark plug BK R7 EIX 2667. Um, depends on your year, make and model, but for the Lancer GT, for the 2015 ones, these are the ones to get. Iridium spark plugs. And uh, yeah, he said pretty much almost everything is done. Ooh, we have this fitting over here. So ARC intake, got this little boot. He said there's something to do with the um, little coolant uh, might have to get like a little adapter to run the coolant you can see everything is all hooked up i think the downpipe's not in yet can't really see but uh they did mention that just the oil and coolant and we should be pretty much all set looking pretty good we also have to run these uh, transmission coolers, so I haven't hooked these up yet. These are transmission coolers from Hayden Automotive. My car has one stock, but I do want to add another one. Uh, also have the fuel pump, got to put in, as well as some of these transmission filters and stuff. Oh, and relocating the battery as well. So this battery, still trying to figure out. We already did the uh, delete of the windshield wiper fluid, because Long did ask me, am I going to use it? So previously is over here, took away the whole windshield wiper fluid reservoir, so much more space over here now. Could probably take away this guy, since it's not hooked up. But yeah, so much space, we're probably gonna mount the transmission cooler either here or the battery over here and hide it. So the oil pan is out and had to weld this little bung right here. Yeah, let's try to see if this little piece works. It'll work. Yeah, about it. <laughs> Do we have to test fit this side and see if it will sure oh. sure. so That's that. Try to wrap this up on Saturday. By Saturday. This is gonna go over here tomorrow. Alright, so inside the interior. So this TGS fast knob will go over here. So this guy should come off pretty easily. There's like a little thing you can just press your finger, pops right off. Super easy. So OEM stock versus TGS. Gotta have two little Allen bolts to put in, but super nice. And I chose red. Comes with like blue, red, orange, few different colors. Um, because I have some red interior accents as well. So over here, again, this is the OEM. So it's kind of weird. It's not quite a push to start and you don't really put your key in. You have a little key fault, but you just push it in and twist it. So this is OEM plastic and this is the TGS billet switch. So same thing over here. You see this two little, let me get it to focus. This little stuff, you just press it, comes right out. 
uh, and then it comes with these two allen bolts put in here pretty easy install so inside the OEM piece there's also a little piece you have to take off which is this piece so like I said you just have to press it and take it off so that's how you get this little guy off and put this in the new TGS billet switch just like that So there we have it. Looks so much nicer compared to the black. I know it's a real small little accent but matches all the little red stuff I have in the interior. Simple and easy mod. Alright so just hanging out here at the shop and the buyer Azil came all the way down from Laredo, Texas. About a four, almost four and a half hour drive. He's coming down here. So like I say he's buying some parts off the, um, off the Lancer and at the same time he hasn't seen progress on a Lancer build so since driving all the way down here I figured that you know maybe we'll just show him what's been done so far all right so we're over here at long shop and we have Azio just show up here in his 350z so he's been saving up for a one he also has a Lancer so a while back we met at a uh, Whataburger during Wegfest so super cool he drove like almost four and a half hours all the way down to Austin from Laredo pretty crazy um, and some of the parts they were selling up back here so, radiator intake manifold we have the throttle body and engine core intake trying to see if we could want to sell the strut bar as well this is the Megan racing strut bar so we're loading all the stuff inside the 350z so like I said he made the track down all the way from Laredo Texas pretty far drive I personally have never driven that far to that part so it's pretty crazy four and a half hours right yeah, yeah. It's pretty insane and here's a close-up of his 350z so some stuff done to it so far some aftermarket headlights wheels see a quick release steering wheel shift knob and he's vlogging as well Link your channel, uh, give a shout out. It's uh, Shifty, that's it. <laughs> I was Shifty. gonna put Shifty Media, but I was like, nah, I'll just put Shifty. Shifty, so I'll link it right here, so make sure to check him out. Like I said, we uh, bumped into each other at Whataburger yeah. at Wegfest, that was yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. I remember I saw him walk in, I was like, he's taller than he looks. Like, that's <laughs> <It's> funny, <laughs> that's awesome. So he hasn't seen it, sneak preview. By the time this video actually comes out, this might have been done, because yeah. right now I just barely started on it, but okay. so far, quite a bit of stuff that's done to it so it looks totally different the engine bay so the intercooler the a titanium I love a lot of titanium stuff that's I want to change out the theme of the car ARC intake um, that's a HKS blow valve the turbo sitting back there it's oh, kind of like an like Evo 10 the setup yards? yeah like yeah. a rally or Evo yeah. 10 they always hide back down there uh, so for the most part almost everything and then the intake manifold too that's why I could sell my other one this is an Evo 10 one but it's kind of complicated to make it fit so we have to like chop off the EGR and I don't know move a bunch of these stuff and my oil dipstick used to be over here I had to relocate it because it's kind of in the way I guess the Evo 10 manifold yeah. uh, throttle body is the Evo 10 one as well we had a little mouse so we just spray paint it you know silver just to look a little yeah. nicer yeah. Uh, strut bar it goes over here if you're wondering so just three bolts and then three bolts and it goes right on super yeah, easy yeah, yeah I yeah for sure I mean it's still a work in progress but so move the DC5 RSX back there and right now we're gonna leave like I said we talked cars for a little bit um, and he said he might be here in a few months to check out another show here in Austin like I said big props because it's far it all sounds pretty good it sounds like a Tomei Alright, so right now we're just gonna head back home as well. So super cool that um like I said we had a subscriber who came all the way down from Laredo, Texas to buy some parts. Um also showing the little sneak preview of the turbo build since you know he's here. Um just gonna end this video over here. So like I said today didn't work too much on the turbo bit itself but I came to check out the progress since I haven't been in a long shop in a while 
Um, we also went ahead and put on small little stuff, like I said, the TGS billet ignition switch, super easy. Um, and then I took off like the remaining part of the uh, windshield wiper fluid, uh, just because like we don't need that little reservoir anymore since we are deleting it. That's gonna be the race, not race car, but you know, the weekend car, the project car. So probably not gonna drive that thing in the rain. I don't really need windshield wiper fluid anyway. So yeah, um, I might swing by in a few days on the weekend if Long is going to be here at the shop working on the car. So like I said, we might aim to put the car on the lift next so we can work on like oil and cooling and all that stuff. So pretty excited. Again, we are getting there guys. I'm excited. I know you guys have been waiting for a while as well. So hopefully the car will be up pretty soon. I'm pretty confident it'll be up this summer. It's just a matter of when. So leave a thumbs up. Again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you know when new videos are out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.